Whether it's a love-hate relationship, project documentation is unavoidable. And in this video, I'm gonna give you five tips on how you can craft the perfect project documentation. Have standard templates. When it comes to project documentation, it is so important to have standard templates. You do not wanna be reinventing the wheel. Let's be honest, when it comes to projects and documentations, it's the project manager, the lead, the one who's running the project who probably has the most vested interest when it comes to the documents. However, it is critical for the project team members to know and utilize those documents because it's just going to help them because people are tending or have a tendency to be siloed in their activities. And the documentation is a common thread that's gonna keep everyone together. So now that we agree that standard templates are really important, how do you get there? Well, you have a really good option on your hands so you don't reinvent the wheel. And that is Slay Project Management, my online project management course. There's lots of things to it, but one of the big things is a standardized template. And if you need some extra hand-holding, I actually have Slay Project Management Pro, which has weekly group coaching calls. Make it clear, concise, and to the point. That is your documentation. I've seen in too many organizations where they have documentation and it's a freaking book. It's crazy. In fact, when I used to work for an organization, they had a charter that was 32 pages. It's like, are you serious? And as a result, nobody wanted to do it. Now I understand why organizations get into that because they want to cover every single scenario that's possible. But I'm letting you know those possible scenarios, they're one in a million and you can deal with it if they come up, but you want it to be quick, clear to the point. So you want to look at the five W's and the how. Where, why, what, when, who, and how. You just really want to focus on that. Get to the point of what needs to be delivered. Don't forget, project documentation is also live documentation. And what do I mean by that? Is that you just don't create it and file it away. You use it. If it needs to be updated, you update it. You then share it with the team. This becomes really critical to help you streamline, be succinct, as I said, getting to the point to ensure that everyone knows exactly what is expected because you want people to be using the documents. You don't want them to look at it once and file it away and then reinvent the wheel. So if you can do that, that's gonna help out tremendously to have very excellent, good project documentation. Before we get on to the next tip, I wanna to talk to you about six basics that you need to know to make sure your projects don't fail. Where can you get this? It's underneath this video. There's a link there for you. Collaborate on important documentation. Now. To have really good project documentation, you want everyone to be following it. And to have that occur, you need people to feel like they collaborated towards some key project related items. And so what are some of those documents that you should definitely be collaborating on? Well, definitely the action plan. Why? Because the action plan is really outlining who's going to be doing what, uh, the responsibility and the due date associated with it. So you want to have individuals who are going to be taking that on saying, yep, this is mine and this is when I'm going to get it done. You want your charter, which is laying out your project. You can bench line it first, but you want your team to then validate it with you to go, yeah, we're all in agreement with this. Your initial timeline is really important because again, that's that buy-in aspect. If there's any uh, requirements for the project, then that's something that you want to also have the team collaborate on. Risk management too because you're bringing your subject matter experts so again it's important to pick the documents you want to collaborate on take note you don't have to collaborate on every single document there are some things that you can just create as a project manager but if you're going to have a really good documentation collaboration is going to be key because it leads to the accountability as well always keep strategy in mind whenever you're creating any of your project documentation do not think of your documents as siloed activities oh I have my charter done. Oh, I have my action plan done. And that there isn't any link or common thread that links through them, number one. And then number two, that it's always linking back to the justification and reason for why you're doing the project and ultimately why you have a particular deliverable at the end of it, because there's a good reason why you're doing all of this. So you really need to start thinking strategically when it comes to your project documentation. Yes, be logical, have it precise and concise, but you also need to make sure it's strategic as well, that it's linking and it's making sense. If you have a documentation that's really not linking back to the strategy as to why you're doing all of this, then that documentation could easily lead you down the wrong path, depending upon what it is. So whenever you're creating your documents, have a strategic mindset and always ensure it's tying back to the justification and your deliverable 
and it's connecting with all the other documents that you have as well. And something else that you may wanna to consider too when it comes to strategy is if you find that people are having a really hard time understanding and seeing that bigger picture, one of the techniques I do all the time is I create a one pager, kind of like a pictorial explaining what the project is about. Sometimes a picture is worth a thousand words and that can make or break understanding. And it's a really nice, easy technique that's something a project manager, you'll have to determine whether your project deserves one, needs one. It's really independent if you find people aren't understanding why they're doing what they're doing. So strategy is really important and really ensuring everybody understands that. Effective project documentation means your team is not chasing you for information and you in turn are not chasing them for information or updates. So with your effective documentation, you wanna set up that channel of communication. Everything that they need is in those documentations. But there's a teaching component that you have to do because a lot of project managers, unfortunately, if they're not taught proper project ways of working that is more of a collaboration and more of an accountability aspect, then what happens is they're always providing all the direction and pushing and pulling of information. It's a very much a one-way street. You want a two-way street. So you want your documentation to explain everything that's needed. You want to share that information so it's readily available. And when your team comes to you for questions, you need to teach them how to get that information. So it becomes like a little self-serving model that they can go, oh, where do I need to do to get clarification? Oh, it's in the project documentation. I can now get that information and I can start working on my stuff, which is awesome when your project team members are on different time zones. They don't have to wait a period of time to get the information that they need and vice versa you're not chasing people because believe you me hurting your cats to get the information on a project is a lot of work and you don't want that so effective project documentation is teaching them how to get the right information having it there having it in a shared location and when you get asked the questions and you know it's in project documentation Okay, play it by ear whether you give them the answer because sometimes it's not a power play. It's not like, oh, did you check the project documentation? Like, I was about to do something that was very <laughs> not good. Um, it's like, don't do that, okay? You know what, sometimes your team members just need the answer and give them the answer, but let them know, hey, by the way, it's also here too. And if you find you have a repeat offender that's constantly coming to you and not the project documentation, then at that point you can say, hey, by the way, everything you need is in the charter, let's go look at it together. You're kind of giving them the hint. But yeah, you want to direct them to where it is. You want to empower them to pull the information so they can be successful and get what they need without having to wait for you. And vice versa, you want to be able to go to the documentation to get all the answers you need because I promise you, you're going to have senior executives knocking on your door asking for some key things and it, wouldn't it be nice that you don't have to knock on the door of everybody else to get an update and they're really busy working on stuff when you can just go to a document. That's the point of really good documentation. Don't forget to grab this on the things you need to know to make sure your projects don't struggle. The link is below this video. Watch this next video on how to write a project plan. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a thumbs up. Write us a comment below too, as well as join this community. We would love to have you.